My name is Vladas and welcome to Indie Bits, the show where I give my first impressions on new indie games. Today we'll be taking a look at Vampire's Fall Origins. The story begins with the appearance of a witch master controlling an unopposed army that's conquering the land. This causes villages to start training soldiers and that's where the story of the main character as a new recruit begins. Long story short, your village gets attacked, you get wrecked and you're now a vampire because… what? The game is mainly an open world turn based RPG, which means you'll be exploring around, talking to NPCs and completing quests. You'll frequently run into encounters that control like most turn based RPGs and eventually level up, allowing you to upgrade your passive skills and active abilities. You also earn gold that can be spent in upgrading your equipment and there is a very basic brewing mechanic as well. The open world exploration is alright since the game gives you plenty of options where to go and you can run into encounters you can't handle yet. Even the main quest at the start is impossible unless you level up elsewhere. And as you may be able to tell, this game is heavily inspired in old school RPGs. It clearly looks very similar to other games like Diablo 1. Even though it has a lot of mechanics going on and I think they pull off the graphics style decently well, this game is a port from a mobile game and that's pretty noticeable. Animations are stiff, abilities and buffs are very limited, combat is rather basic and even though you can create your own character and select between several professions called lineages, that only changes a small stat since your abilities stay the same. At least the price is not very high, it is currently at a discount on Steam for just 10.39. Taking this into consideration, in my show you try scale I give it a score of… Solid maybe. If you would like to see more reviews on indie games as soon as the game comes out, make sure to subscribe. Have a nice day!